Good day po sa ating lahat. Uh, nandito na naman si Teacher Tech uh, upang magturo sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng forms. Okay. So in here, uh, itong video na to is madalawang content. Una is i-explain ko sa inyo kung saan natin mada-download yung mga forms natin na walang password. Okay. Shout out po sa mga nag-request nito. So in here, you can go to your Google, uh, Google browser. Okay. Since... Uh, naka-view na ako sa aking isa sa aking mga video so you can just click any of my videos teacher tech videos and then you can click the download, download link on the description okay so after clicking the download link mag -re -re redirect ito sa website kung saan tayo magda-download ng forms kung saan yung mga forms ko ay na-upload ko ito ang website ko So in here, uh, this one here is the forms that has password. So saan natin makikita yung mga forms na walang password? We can click in here, teacher tech subscriber. Click teacher tech subscriber. After clicking, makikita po nyo dito ang walang password. So wala po itong bayad, libre lang po. Uh, anyway, to support my channel, just hit like or comment and Also, you can subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos about Dip and Forms. Okay, so thank you po sa mga nag-subscribe at nagtangkilik sa aking forms. Sana po ay uh, makakatulong ito sa inyo. Okay, so let's continue with the second part. Uh, the second part is on how to uh, add cells, add competency in the item analysis. Okay, so you will download this one, the no password. Uh, hindi po kayo makapag-edit kapag yung forms din yung dinownload niyo is merong password so you you should download first this one okay since may na download na ako here so ito po ay walang password so makikita po natin yung mga formula ayan na ginawa ko uh, na sana ay makakatulong pa sa inyo and then in here let's say for example you have 60 ah uh, How can I say this? 16 competency. Okay, so you can add cells here. So let's insert. And then insert again. Hanggang maging 60. 49. Okay, let's drag po the numbering here. So on, to drag or to number, automatic that the numbering is you highlight the 47 to 48 then there is a small square dot you can drag down so nasa 55 pa po tayo and then you can insert more insert more 56 57 58 59 60 okay so again drag again highlight the 47 to 49 then drag ayan meron na po tayong 60 Okay, let's uh, let's say meron itong mga competency. Uh, Ika-copy ko na lang para po uh, meron itong competency na halimbawa. So, so sa sinabi ni ma'am, masisira po yung sir, yung masisira po yung formula. Okay, in this case, check po muna natin yung formula. Okay. In here, paano po hindi masira? Uh, you can just drag Kasi, yes, you can just drag this one up to here, 60. Yan. So, let's try. Two, two. Wait. Uh, okay. Okay. So in here, sorry, after after po nyo na drag ang formula, so as you can see, uh, uh, tingnan nyo po mabuti dito sa formula bar. Okay, ito. So C61 is determined as this one, the cell. Ayan, C6 is this one, the blue colored, uh, how can you see this, uh, cell. So, C61 divided by G8. So, saan po ba si G8? Ito po. So, number of students. So, si 48. Ito. So, nang pagkatapos natin 
Okay, so again, C61 is the blue, this one, divided by the number of students, which is the uh, G8. Ito, G8, so ito, nasa G at nasa 8. So, ito ay nasa G8, itong pink na nakabak. So, in here, after po natin na-drag yung formula, escape, escape po mo natin. So, here, drag natin kasi wala itong formula. Okay, at didelete po muna natin. Okay, delete. So, in here, i-drag muna natin up to down. Okay, here. Sa so, napansin nyo, merong kumbaga parang error. Okay. Um, ang gagawin nyo is, uh, let's say for example, C61 divided by uh, the G8, so which is the number of students. Uh, tin tinan natin sa upper part, C60. C60 kasi ito. Divided by pa rin by the G8. So, ang gagawin nyo is, nang dinrag natin, medyo nag-iba. Naging G9, naging G10. So, we will change the the this one into all G8. Para po maging tugma yung ating formula. Okay, let's try. Change G9 to G8. Hit enter. Next, the G10. Make it to G8. Next, the G11, make, uh, make it to G8. And then, the G12, make it to G8. G13. And so on and so forth. So, i-edit ko muna. Ayan. Then, here. Okay, so, ayan, na-edit na po natin. Naging G8 na po lahat. So, I think ito lang po yung medyo uh, difficult part. Yung palitan dito. Yung formula. But, anyway, hindi naman ito uh, sobrang hirap. Gagawin nyo lang G8 itong um, itong formula na ito. Okay, so, next is this one. Uh, this cell right here. So, wala pang formula. Drag na lang natin. Okay. Again, uh, make it to G8 again. So, wait. Drag po muna natin. And after that, uh, tingnan nyo. So, lahat po ay G8. So, itong dinrag natin naging G9. So, change, na yun, uh, change din natin into G8. So, G8, in enter. Then, the G10, make it to G8. Enter again. And so on and so forth. Palitan natin ng G8. Okay. G15 to G8. And G16 to G8. Okay, sorry. Then G8. Ayan, so, napalitan na po natin ng G8. Okay, next is ito naman. The same thing, papalitan, uh, papalitan natin ng G8 then. Drug, and then the rest... The G9, the G10, the G11, change to G8. Okay, so ayan, napalitan na po natin. And after that, uh, we will continue this, this side here. Wala pong formula. So, okay. 
Okay, so after nyo naging uh, nag-edit ng mga formula dito is pupuntahan natin dito. So, we can drag, easily drag this one. But, uh, before that, uh, mayroon po ako isang error sa aking formula. Anyway, we will uh, change that. So, dito po tayo mag-start sa una, sa top. So, in here, uh, kapag kasi nag-48, all, nagkamali lahat, automatic dito po siya mapupunta sa not mastered. Kasi below 50% siya. So, in here, uh, dapat mag-check dito. Pero, ayan, nag-error siya. So, lahat ay nag-false. So, what what I did is that uh, we, we will change the formula. Balik natin. Let's undo it. Undo. Uh, and then, let's click here. We will change all of this formula here. But, itong dala, tatlong to ang i-edit natin. Tapos, drag na lang natin all the way to the bottom. Okay? So, una, dito. Uh, dito po ito mag-change. So, it is, uh, this is greater uh, greater than 1. No, we, uh, it's, it must be greater than 0. Tama po ba ako? Okay, greater. So, greater than 0. Then, hit enter. Okay, na-change na po natin dito. Next, this one. Change to 0. And then, this one. Uh, change to 0 again. Ayan. Okay. So, after that, we will drag this one. There's a red, uh, I mean, squared button. And after nyo po ma... How can you say this? Uh, yung cursor nyo uh, will be pointing at that square dot automatic magko-cross yan. Click and hold, then drag. All the way to the bottom. Ayan. And then next, this one, click po muna natin. Then, click and drag all the way to the bottom. Okay, next, is click and drag all the way to the bottom. Okay. So, ayan, nagkaroon na po tayo ng formula dito sa ating uh, indicator. So, to check, uh, let's say, for example, I have 48. All of my students got wrong. Okay. So, hindi na po siya magpa-false. Ayan. Nakita nyo, di ba? So, kanina, uh, medyo nagkamali ako. Sorry po. Uh, you can download again. You can edit. Uh, kasi, hindi ko na-anticipate na pwede yung magkamali lahat ng sudyante. Okay. 48. Ayan. Okay na po. Ayan. Automatic na po mag-check. So... Again, so any problem, you can comment down below. Okay, you can change also here. 60 items. This is in the set, uh, in the sheet of this one. You can just copy, move, or copy, or duplicate the, uh, yung ginawa nyong ganito para po mas madali kayo. You can edit one, kagaya ng ginawa ko. Mag-edit kayo ng one sheet. And then, you can delete all of them. Then, you can just copy or duplicate. Move or copy, create a copy like that. Para po, uh, hindi na kayo uh, uh, babalik from the start na mag-edit ng formula. Okay, let's have, I will give you an example. Delete ko ito. Okay. Delete. Then delete. Then this one, delete. Kasi yung EPP lang po yung na-edit ko, di ba? 60 items. Okay, delete. Then, delete. Para hindi na po kayo uh, babalik from the start sa pag-edit ng formula. Okay, for example, I have 6 items. Ito yung na-edit ko. You can just copy. Move or copy. Create a copy move to the end. That you can change the name. Uh, math. And then, hit enter. You can change here the subject in the, up, the title. Okay. Meron na kayong EPP at saka math. You can change the uh, competency here. Okay. So, hindi na kayo babalik na una na mag-edit ng formula. Ayan. Okay. So, uh, yun lang po. Ang, ang ginawa natin is nag-add ng cells to have a recap. Nag-insert ng cells. Nag-edit ng mga formula. 
And then, nag-copy ng sheet para hindi na kayo babalik sa una na mag-edit na form na. Okay, so thank you po sa panood. Uh, sana po ay makatulong ito sa inyo. And then, shout po sa inyo ma'am at uh, ito na po yung tutorial nyo tungkol sa inyong 60 items na competency. Okay, so thank you and God bless po sa ating lahat. So don't forget to uh, to hit the like button to sub and then subscribe na din po kayo sa ating YouTube channel for more DepEd Forms video like this. Okay? Thank you and God bless po sa ating lahat. Bye.